So first and foremost, who could even possibly say how we actually got here? Um, the initial teaching of the church for how the earth was created is from the book of Genesis where it talks about God created the heavens and the earth, God created and said, let there be light, God created the animals and the seas and all these things, all on days one through seven, seventh day he rested. So that theory is called creationism. That is the extreme belief that it was basically an eyewitness account. That's exactly how it happened and there's no way that it could have possibly happened another way. The church strongly discourages this belief. <laughs> Um, ever since the evolutionary theory came forward, the church has actually openly accepted evolution as how we potentially came to be here. They just don't agree with the random biological process of it. So, with evolutionary theory, it's stated that in the beginning, before there was the world, there were gases that existed and then the atoms collided and created this big bang. In my mind, the way that I view that is that was basically God snapping his fingers and saying, there it is. Like, something had to have stepped in and said, we're going to make this happen. So, the church believes that evolution is completely plausible and completely accepts it. And I believe that they're almost at a point where they've said that is what we believe because religion and science don't, they don't, but head to head, especially with the Catholic Church, because the Catholic Church accepts truth. The Catholic Church accepts what's actually real and what's actually the absolute truth that's spoken of. Um, now, moving forward with evolution, how did we come to be here then, and why are we any different than any of the other animals? This comes down to, because we believe... The, the Catholic Church teaches that humans have a soul and that animals do not. And that's really hard. I have two little dogs. I absolutely love them. And they are trained. They know how to ask to go outside. They are really good. I give them treats when they're good and everything else. And when we're little, we get the positive and negative reinforcement from our parents and from our peers. And we basically train our children. Now, as the children get older, we begin to be able to make our own decisions. Animals don't do that. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, and it's like this concept of when we go into the wilderness and we're camping, a bear can't decide, hey, there are some humans over there. I, they really like pizza. Let's get a pizza, put it in this tree, and then they're going to come and get it, and then we can, then we can have them for dinner. A bear doesn't think that way, whereas we could set a bear trap, and although we probably, I don't know if people eat bear or not, but they could catch the bear, and so it doesn't attack them at least, because out of instinct, the bear would go after them, not out of this method of planning that they were able to actually logically process the situation. Um, so that would be the difference between us and animals, and the belief is that God just had his hand in that, and watched the animals, everything, everything evolve. I mean, even we as humans evolve on a daily basis. Any any Christian that actually says that evolutionary theory is completely impossible is not speaking from a place of submittal to the church or out of a place that's actually been what what's actually believed in the religion of Catholicism. Another little point, I, I have this book that's all about all the early Christian beliefs, and it's all pre-325 AD, so it's very early on. And one of the guys who wrote in it, or has the excerpt of, was talking about how if we were to see a boat with the masses up and it's coming into the harbor, we would naturally assume that there was a pilot in the sea. Or if an airplane was coming in and going for landing, we would assume that there was a pilot in the sea. And how is that any different than this world? How is that any different than if we had, we do have a pilot, so to speak, and he's naturally guiding along the process of us getting to be the people that we are anticipated to be and growing and developing and evolving into the biggest and best species that we can be. And that's basically the overall consensus of it though. Um, evolutionary theory, great. I think it's good. I 
I mean, I know I see uh, myself constantly evolving in my growth and maturing, and as I get older, I take experiences and learn from them, and so the whole evolutionary, I mean, the only constant is change, so that's, that's what the church teaches, and that's that's what I I agree, so that's that, but feel free, comment, subscribe, you know I'll be back next week, so love chatting with you guys, thanks for all your support, and I will talk with you soon, have a great day, thanks, bye.